The creator of the most successful web developer course of all time is back. Cold Steel completely overhauled his web developer bootcamp on Udemy with over 60 hours of video and nearly 600 lectures. Is this course an aspiring web developer's dream come true, or is this course simply too massive? We're going to go behind the scenes to investigate the Web Developer Bootcamp 2020, and the video starts right now. This video is brought to you by Freelance Newbie. Start getting paid for your developer skills with the help of this course created by a working freelancer. Visit realtoughcandy.io and get started with your freelancing journey today. What's up, developers? RTC here, coming at you with some pretty important web developer education news. Cold Steel, this is hot off the presses. Cold Steel has revamped completely his web developer bootcamp course on Udemy. When this course came out a few years ago, it absolutely blew the socks off of so many people, myself included. As you can see here, purchase proof in the pudding. I purchased this almost three and a half years ago uh, when I was on my web development journey. And this course was absolutely, I don't even know what the word is, insert superlative here. It was wonderful. And unfortunately, because web development just changes so darn fast, these types of materials become outdated very quickly. So for about the past year and a half to two years, I haven't been able to recommend this course because there were some glaring omissions and things that just were a little older that I I thought other courses have done a little better. Well, that kind of changes today because this thing has been completely revamped. And today I just want to go over some of the changes, what you can expect if you already have this course, what's happened to your progress. Spoiler alert, it resets to zero. If you're new to this course, Basically, what this is, is a very inexpensive way to get your feet wet with web development. Let me go inside the course and I'll give you a little tour of what's around here. If we go to the fifth lecture here, there's actually a course change log. So you can see a list of all the changes made to the course. Anytime Cold Steel adds or removes content. And there's also a migration guide. This is how massive and significant this course is for so many people. This is like a platform on a platform. So before you start anything, if you're not one for introductions, I would definitely check this out. And also you can check out the change log right here. So all the things that he's added in this course. Uh, I'm not gonna go over all of this stuff, but just some things you can expect for the new sections. Bootstrap four and five, uh, somewhere down here. I know it's true because I just saw it in the course. Um, the world of CSS selectors, responsive CSS and Flexbox, some new JavaScript stuff, DOM events, more Java, tons of JavaScript, intro to functions, express, restful routing, more express stuff. In the first course, there was a drum machine. I think it was called Patatap or something. There were smaller projects. Again, this is such a big course that I haven't been able to look through all of it. I think most of those are now gone, um, replaced with more modern projects and updated projects. The other big addition or feature, if you want to call it that, is that he teaches this course using VS Code. So whenever he's showing you code snippets or doing a tutorial, you're going to be doing that through VS Code, which is a nice upgrade because VS Code has become so ubiquitous with web developers. Some of the things specifically outdated with the older version, number one, jQuery. Now, I personally think jQuery is an excellent skill to have because there is so much code out there that does use jQuery. However, I can see why people would not be enthusiastic about it because we do have more modern ways of doing things. Also in the last version, we didn't have anything on ES6 and that was a big omission because this does dub itself as the only course you need to learn web development. ES6 is pretty important. Uh, learning just the fundamentals of JavaScript, of course, more important, but ES6 is something that developers do need to know. So he talks about that stuff down here. There's a whole section dedicated to it called newer JavaScript features, where he talks about default params, destructuring arrays. And as you can see here, again, these slides have all been updated. They just look fresh. They look a little funky and cool. Very cool looking. Everything here has been updated. Now, if you've been following along with the news, on this bootcamp, which occasionally I do, uh, some sections had been patched here and there, but it was time for a complete overhaul. One thing you won't find in here, though, at least from what I've been seeing so far, is a framework. And that was the case with the first version of this course, too. I'm kind of surprised because there are competitor products out there 
i.e. other bootcamp courses on Udemy that do include frameworks like Vue, Angular, React, and so on. So it was surprising not seeing it here. We have the flagship project, Yelp Camp. That's still in place with, of course, a ton of additions here. This is the adding and authentication section. We have a section on, or a chapter rather, on configuring passport. We have a chapter on registering route logic. Let me go to that video and you can see. I'm going to play a little bit. I don't want to get a copyright strike, but let's just play this. Just like that. Uh, and then, hmm, maybe we'll just do a, a quick uh, console.log of registered users so you can see what we end up with. And then a, uh, how about a request.flash. Welcome to Yelp Camp. Section 58, he included the legacy content, which, you know, if you're bored and don't have anything to do for 40 hours, you could watch this at an airport or something. I don't know. One video I particularly enjoyed was in the intro section here, Will I Get a Job? I like the transparency of this video. And basically what he says is, after you do this course, you do the projects, you follow everything, you learn this stuff, you absorb it, there is a chance you may be able to land a job. In fact, people who have taken this course have been able to. Um, there's also a chance you won't get a job. And he's very explicit in the fact that it's not just this course that's going to help you. In a real boot camp, you have these extra resources. You're going to meetups, you're meeting with your mentor, you're meeting with your peers to study and all this other stuff. So do keep this in mind. This course is 60 plus video hours. It can be fatiguing. Most people I know the first time around for the first version of this course, most people didn't get more than halfway through. And it's not because they're slackers or they they don't want to be web developers. It's just that it goes on. Yes, it's 60 hours video time, but in actuality, 20 minutes of a new concept could take you an entire day. So if you're going to be doing this course, I would really recommend you find a study group or make it a full-time job because otherwise you're just not going to get the most out of it. I feel like maybe if it was in four parts, yeah, there wouldn't be as many sales, but I think people would find more motivation rather than like, oh, I'm on section 26. The other critique I have, this was the same critique I had with the first version of this course, is that he teaches you Mongo. The vast majority of employers are not using Mongo. And so for this to become a cornerstone in your education with technology you most likely will not be using uh, can be a waste of time. I feel like there are just better database choices out there. Mongo is a perfect example of hype-driven development. And even though you are building a really cool project, Yelp Camp in this course using Mongo, it has a very small market share when it comes to databases. So keep that in mind. Um, you always wanna be looking forward with your own life and your own career when you decide to take the plunge with these courses. All in all, this course is an absolute classic. I do recommend it. I think there is just so much great stuff in here, but I do want to give the forewarning. It's 60 plus video hours and nearly 600 lectures. So I hope you enjoyed this sneak peek. As always, thanks for watching. I'm RTC and I'll see you in the next video.